Hi everyone, Rebecca here, I am Mama 24 Today I want to do a share video of some Shrinky Dink charms that I've been making with a personalized stamp uh, that I got made with my name on it and my YouTube name on it. And I wanted to also share the eBay seller where I um, chose uh, this stamp from. If you go to uh, the eBay seller uh, Lung Chai 74, L double O N G C H A I 74, um, that is the eBay seller's name, you will come across oodles and oodles of designs um, of stamps that he creates. His name is Chris and he's from Malaysia and he has wonderful selection, wonderful customer service, uh, communication, just great. And it really didn't take that long to get my stamp here to Canada and I've already been playing with it. So I want to give a big thank you to Tammy who's SS Crafter One. She's the lady whose video I watched um, doing a shout out on this eBay seller and I went right over and I ordered mine and so this is the design that I chose and the one that I picked came with free shipping and he sent it to me in look at those beautiful Malaysian stamps he sent it to me um, letter mail via airmail so I was really really impressed and uh, so it didn't come wood mounted it came it's a clear stamp and it comes already mounted on this thin foam. So what I did was I took one of my old Stampin' Up! foam blocks and I specifically chose one that was um, big enough to put another one on here. I think if I would ever order another one then I can put the stamp on this side and then put, um, put this part which I stamped out and taped on um, onto this side so then it would be like a uh, two-in-one kind of a, a stamp where I can always go and find my handmade stamps. Um, so this is how it looks stamped out and I chose this design here handmade by Rebecca YT I am Mama 24 and you just tell him in the comments what you are wanting on your stamp and he can mix up the the line numbers and um, he will send you, this is literally the, the preview that he sent me via email um, and I approved it and he went ahead and made my stamp for me and sent it out. So what I've been doing is making Shrinky Dink charms with my new stamp to hang from my pocket letters and I wanted to share with you the process and how they came out. So the shrink uh, the Shrinky Dinks that I'm using is the Bright White and it's sold in um, six sheets of 8 by 10 inch. So this is the one that I chose to work with and when you're stamping on Shrinky Dink you're going to want to use um, a stays on kind of an ink pad so that um, it's going to stick to the shiny um, surface. So I went ahead and I stamped some onto my Shrinky Dink um, bright white and from this small piece you can see here that this small piece here it's maybe one third of a full sheet I am getting six of these stamped onto there and this is what they're going to turn out like when you melt them in the oven. I just did mine in the toaster oven and I'll go through the process. So you can see it's considerably smaller but they're just the perfect size to hang from a pocket letter. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, bring these to my die cutting machine and cut them out. I'm using my Spellbinders 17 um, I just went through all my spellbinders and I just literally just laid them on to see which one would go very uh, 
fit it in there nicely. And I chose the label 17. This is the second smallest size. So I'm just going to go ahead and run those through my Big Kick and I will be right back. So here I am at my cutting station and my sandwich that I'm going to use is just the platform, my first cutting plate. And because my cutting plates are have a lot of wear on them, I am putting this um, I'm putting my shrinky dink in between this um, copy paper just so that it doesn't make any unwanted impressions. And I'm going to put in my shrinky dink sheet and I'm going to line it up to where I want it. And I could tape this, but this is kind of a, um, a sticky kind of a, a paper, so it'll, it'll stay put. And I'll just close that up and put on my other cutting plate and run that through. And so here is my cut out shrinky dink paper and you'll get like little threads but just kind of clean it off and I will finish punching out the rest of these and then I will take you over to my toaster oven. So here are all my cutout shapes and because I want to make these into charms I'm going to want to punch a hole somewhere on to here before I put it into the toaster oven. It, um, as you can tell, it gets quite thick during the process of melting and it's a lot easier to punch the hole um, with your hole punch into this part of the shrinky dink before it gets shrunk. And you're going to want to use um, a hole punch that's pretty big, so I'm just using this regular paper punch because of course the hole will shrink too just as everything else will so you can see there's quite a difference there between the holes so I'm just gonna go ahead and put these onto my little baking tray and I will get them into the oven So I've got my toaster oven set to 425 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm just going to slip them in and this is the fun part, watching the process. Now they're going to start to curl up but don't be afraid, they will flatten on their own. And once I get them out of the toaster oven, I will immediately use one of my thick acrylic blocks to make sure that they're completely flat. So that whole process takes maybe um, a minute and a half to complete. And I'm just going to take them out of my toaster oven. And yes, they are going to be hot. And immediately I am going to take my acrylic block and just give them a quick press just to make sure that they are definitely flattened. And they are good to go. So here are my finished pieces. I think they're just adorable and um, they are great to hang off of um, any kind of charm or in this case I am using them on my pocket letters so that they know who it was made by and my YouTube name. And here is an example of how I've used it on my pocket letters so far. Um, I just tied it with baker's twine into that first loop and I put a Canada charm onto there as well and I called it done.
So I hope you guys give this a try. If you do, let me know. I'd love to see what you come up with. And definitely go check out that seller. He's got great, um, great shipping. Um, my shipping was actually free. There are some stamps that you do have to pay for, and you can also get the stamps mounted if you prefer on wooden blocks. Um, or handled, um, different handles of stamps, but you can work that all out with the seller. So I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.